Hi there YouTube. Today I'm going to show you another tech, tech tip uh, for beginners. Um, if you ever power up one of these Dell machines and or any other machine that says system battery voltage is low or if every single time that you power off and disconnect the power on your computer and you have to go through setup to configure all your drives again, it may be that the system battery is low. Now, in this, in this Dell desktop, the actual motherboard detects that the battery is low. And if I were to reset all my settings right now and reboot, it'll keep on saying system battery is low, system battery is low. So I'm going to quickly show you right now how to go ahead and replace the CMOS battery on these things. It's very simple. It's something that, you know, every beginner uh, in computer repair should know. So um, let me show you. First thing is I'm going to turn off. This is a, by the way, this is a Dell Optiplex 745. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to power it off. Unplug the power. And this computer is opened by a latch mechanism. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this latch. And then the side cover comes off. And as you can see here, this is a very modular computer. Uh, most of these Dells are, uh, and they and everything comes off using clips, uh, with the exception of some other plastics that require some screws. But uh, to get to the CMOS battery, if you can see down here, that's the battery that we need to replace right there. And I've already gone ahead and purchased a a set of batteries from Amazon. And as you can see, I've already done several of these other systems that I have. Every single one has had a, a bad battery in it. So these are CR2032. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this hard drive out of the way so that we can easily access that. So in this computer, just press this to lift it up and we can move it over. The way that this computer is cooling system is set up is kind of cool too. So this is like a solid heat sink. And then this is the fan that kind of cools the hard drive and the CPU by blowing air that way. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a pair of pliers that I had that I use for this. You can also use a screwdriver. But if you see the the battery, there's this little clip here. Sorry, I'm doing this without looking. But if I squeeze that, battery comes off. So I can just lift it out and put it in my recycle pile. And I get a, a brand new one from my pile. And I insert it by putting it underneath this lip here. And then I just push down. That's it. Now I reverse the process of putting the hard drive back in. And I power up the computer. Up oh, first thing, you know, supply electricity, and press the power button. And now it's gonna complain again that the battery is low one more time. But in this case, I go to the BIOS, I press F2. This computer, I don't have a floppy drive, so I'm gonna disable the floppy drive, and uh, that's it. I mean, you, you can you can do ahead, you can go ahead and uh, um, set the date and time, but I, what I do is I usually do that in in Windows, um, but you should do that here if you're installing the operating system from scratch, um, and yeah, all you gotta do is set the 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 settings that you need in the BIOS and save and exit and the next time that this powers up you will not get a a low battery uh, message that's it now it's starting windows and uh, i really hope you find this useful let me know in the comments what you think and uh, until next time